Hi there, tech friends. Today I want to show you how to build a private chat GPT for your organization. Let's dive right in. Here is a simple website that can answer questions about your organization based on the documents in SharePoint. For example, I can ask it, Today's my first day. Help me with my onboarding. Or, what are my dental benefits? Or, what are our procurement policies? First, upload between 50 and 200 documents to any SharePoint document library. Ideally, these should be policies, procedures, and standards, but any corporate documents will do. Before we go on, please go to the following article and read the instructions on how to create an Azure app registration. We're gonna need this app registration later on. Next, let's create an OpenAI service. You can read a separate guide on how to do it if you're not familiar with it. Make sure you create a new model. At the time of making this video, GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K was the best model available to me. Now we need to create and configure an AI search service so that it can crawl the material you uploaded to the SharePoint library earlier. Let's create an AI search service. And then, we'll take note of the admin API key. We must send REST API requests to the AI search service to configure SharePoint as a data source. We can do it with Postman, which happens to be my favorite tool. So let's go ahead and install it. Next, download the Cognitive Search API. SharePoint data source JSON file and import it into your Postman. Then, in the Variables section of your imported collection, set the following variables. Azure Search Service Name Azure Search Admin Key Azure Application ID Azure Application Secret Azure Tenant ID SharePoint Site URL SharePoint Library URL and SharePoint additional columns. Now, send the first three POST requests. The first one will provision a new SharePoint data source. The second one will create an index. And the last one will create an indexer. Make sure the POST requests don't return any errors before continuing further. Now that the AI search service is configured, let's head back to the OpenAI resource and connect it to the AI search. This needs to be done on the Chat Playground website. Make sure to pick the correct model under the Deployment section. Under Add your data, click Add a data source. We'll then select our subscription, service name and index. Then map content to content, file name to SPO item name, title to title, and URL to SPO item path. Finally, you can provide a system message. For example, you are an AI assistant who works for Tailspin and helps employees find information. We're almost done. Let's deploy this AI model to a private corporate Azure website. Click Deploy to a new web app. Pick a name for your website and a pricing plan and decide whether you want to get your chat history preserved for a small additional fee. After a few minutes, you can launch your website. A tenant administrator needs to visit the website and provide their admin consent to the application. After a few minutes, you should be able to chat with your AI. This AI will have proper grounding based on the documents that we've uploaded to SharePoint earlier. If you want a more detailed guide on how to build this solution, please refer to the longer version of this video hosted by the Toronto SharePoint User Group. And that's it, folks. I hope you have a use case for building your own private corporate chatbot.